This is a mystery box full of luxury fashion accessories. I paid $175 for it, but it could contain an item that is worth up to $500. Honestly, I think it's too good to be true, but let's find out. Okay, first look inside. Ooh, right out the gate, we have a name brand, Adidas. It is a beanie. There's a tag on it says full price retails for $22, but it looks like it's been marked down to $14.74 in the past, which kind of makes me wonder where all of this stuff came from. So this box is from Quick Lots, which is a liquidator that buys bulk inventory that stores need to get rid of for one reason or another, and resells it to individuals who might want to resell it themselves, you know, like a little side hustle. A lot of liquidators only sell this stuff by like the pallet or even the truckload. But Quick Lots actually had some smaller mystery boxes. Okay, well, small is relative. For curious cats like me who want the excitement of a mystery box, but not the hassle of the hustle. So they have quite a few mystery boxes, but all of them only give you very vague details of what is inside. Like, can I really expect to see Dior makeup? And oh my God, is that a Chanel bag? Are you kidding me? And like the other pictures they have look more like a mix of clothing and is that a cocktail mixing kit? Okay. I'm I'm not mad at that. But needless to say, the luxury retailer accessories fashion box might be a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, but if it is a disappointment, stay tuned because I, I bought another mystery box that is maybe even more mysterious. Oh, we have hat competition. This is a Helen Kaminsky hat. I am not familiar with that brand. So is it meant to be worn? This way, this is giving me your 90s vibes. Like put a big old daisy right here. And this, this was five-year-old Bailey in the summer. All right, cute. A little mailer, let's see what's in here. Yes, 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 Sunnies. Fendi Sun, no way. Okay, so these are Fendi sunglasses from Nordstrom. And maybe this was on the rack because this says it compared to 390 and had previously been, been on sale for 119. <gasps> oh, she's a movie star. Yes. You know what? Between these three items alone, this box has probably paid for itself. And we still have so much more to go in here. Okay, here is a shoe. I think it has a mate. Confirmed, it does. These are men's shoes. They are looking new. Just kidding, no they're not. They have dirt in the bottoms of them. And they're Olukais. I feel like I've heard of this brand. Are they water shoes? Are they regular shoes? They're big shoes, size, I don't know what. Another set of water shoes. These are from Speedo and there is a tag on them but there isn't a price on the tag and they're smalls, so also not for me. Another little bag, they, oh, a visor. Bluestone sun shield. Stay skin cancer free, y'all. Oh, <gasps> mama needs to go play, I don't know, some bingo or something. Ooh, lovely, a swell water bottle. Retails for $35. This uh, might have been used. There's something in the bottom of this. Can you see that residue? It looks like it could be coffee, but it also could just be like, well, I guess whatever comes out of it. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna wash it out. Another pouch. This was a real winner last time. Another set of sunnies. <gasps> these are from Otra. Otra. Not familiar with that brand, but these? Eh, eh, let's just try them on. Oh, these are giving me Etna mode goes on a cruise vibes. Yes, this is just a real grab bag in here. So again, luxury fashion box. <laughs> and I now have a Harry Potter illustrated collection. Years one, two, and three. Another beanie from Rag and Bone. Now this, uh, Rag and Bone. I don't own anything from Rag and Bone, mostly because I know it is a higher end brand. This beanie? Guess, guess how much this beanie goes for compared to the Adidas beanie, beanie that looks exactly the same, that retails for 22 at its most expensive. Guess how much this rag and bone beanie is? $98, $98. Okay. Spanx that 
are a thousand percent opened and teeny tiny, too teeny tiny. One X, doubtful. Or are these separate? These might, this might be, this might be separate because these are nude. Okay, this might be promising. Higher power panties. We put the power in your panties. I highly doubt that, Spanx. Makeup alert. Okay, I'm kind of surprised this is the first that we've hit the makeup because as you saw in the preview image, there were like Dior palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Oh, we got NYX. Not only do we have NYX, we have three of the same NYX eyeshadow jumbo eye pencil trios. Skechers arch support. Please be in a size 10. Women seven and a half. And a lightly used seven and a half. These also have been worn. <laughs> so it seems like we have a mix of liquidation stuff, returns from Nordstrom, and maybe even liquidations from like Nordstrom Rack and Target. Here we have a hat and a scarf. I have lots of hats now. This is brandless. It's from Nordstrom Rack and it is also priceless, but not in like a Hallmark kind of way and like a literally does not have a price tag. Oh, we got another little pouch. Okay, see these Celine's? These are not real Celine's. Isn't Celine like a really nice bag? It says made in Italy. Okay, I, this does not have a tag on it and I don't know how much Celine's typically retail for. Unfortunately, the, excuse me, can I help you? These remind me a lot of the Desi sunglasses that I said were too small for my face, but I don't hate these. Maybe it's cause they're a tortoise shell brown and not a men in black black like the other ones were. You just waltzed right past the mic. Swish, swish, here goes your tail. Just like me and my new Celine's. What else we got in here? Oh, a purse. Get out of town. This is, is this real? This has to be real, right? This is a Kate Spade purse. Are you kidding me? With pockets and zippers and everything. Oh, it's broken. Oh no, that's why. I wonder if I could take this, like this is, Genuine leather. I should, hopefully I could take this somewhere to get like new hardware on it, right? Does anybody else, anyone know? Because I gotta get that fixed. That's a cute purse. Oh, men's razors. How did they know I shave? What? <gasps> okay. Once again, luxury fashion accessories. These are jello molds or like silicone cake, mo cupcake molds for 15 bucks from Nordstrom. I mean, they're cute. I will make cupcakes in here for uh, Finley and myself and everyone. But luxury fashion, I think not. More beauty, Wish, powerfully effective naturals, coconut milk and verbena exfoliating foot mask. This was, looked very open. Oh, but it's not, it has a little seal on it. I have never heard of this, but. I didn't know my feet needed a mask. We're nearing the end. We have a scarf. Who made this? Cape or drape? Compared at 120 bucks, they sold it for 41.97. It looks like a scarf. It looks like a scarf. This is a wall ornament. Are you ready? Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh. It's upside down and a lot shorter than I thought it would be, but pretty. Ooh, look at the kind of golden. Mmm, not my aesthetic right now, but who am I kidding? I don't really have an aesthetic. I can make it work. Okay, we are almost done. We have Kopari, More Beauty, Champagne, Mini Champagne Coconut Melt. So it looks like a makeup remover and a lip gloss. Love that. C, Rose Mineral Soap. <gasps> Is this a bath? It's a bath thing. I love that. What does it smell like? Rose, as as expected, duh, Bailey. And last, uh, a mitten, a mitten set from Nordstrom Rack, price tag removed, probably a return, but uh, there we go. So now the other box I bought was the jewelry mystery box. And the pictures used for this box are interesting. There aren't any photos of boxes or even bins with jewelry in them. There are just screenshots of pieces of jewelry within the logo, real simple style. And that makes me think this box could just be full of real simple jewelry that didn't sell. It was considerably less expensive than the luxury fashion box and yet the jewelry box is somehow bigger than the fashion and apparel boxes. Let's open it. 
This looks like a fashion box. I don't know if it was luxury fashion because it didn't order it. So this is from ASOS, US size six. And the reason I didn't order the fashion boxes is because I figured the accessories and jewelry would be more universal, whereas fashion, most of this is not going to fit me. I can almost guarantee it. But a lot of it looks like it's in good condition, so it's gonna be great to donate. Wait a second, what? Well, this is a disappointment. So this is the brand, Veronica Beard. Full retail price was 175, but something tells me no one was paying $175 for a fake zip up sweatshirt. This looks like something that's supposed to go on the inside of like another jacket or a blazer. So it gives you the effect of the layered look, but not the bulk and the extra heat. Um, and it was 175 bucks, but maybe someone just wanted the jacket instead. He, oh, no, these are trousers men's trousers, trousers, Peter Miller trousers. Ooh, a super soft robe from UGG that was $98. Probably marked down because that's handwritten on the tag. Sweatpants, Ugh, these probably are not my size, but they're so cute. Cotton Citizen, size small. Oh my God, these were $245 for sweatpants? Whoa, a formal dress from the brand McDougal in a size 14, 14. Okay, this has some serious potential for all of the balls that I go to and eat your heart out, Angelina Jolie. Someone send me an invitation to a ball or no, a gala. Oh my goodness, wait a second. This could be something for Fin Fin. Oh! Mini Bowden, what are these? Oh, they look too big. Finny is a one, yeah, four to five years old. So cute though. Eileen Fisher, get out of town and it looks like it's gonna fit. Oh my gosh, okay, Eileen Fisher is such a nice brand. These retail, they're cropped straight pants in black. Oh, it's petite. So they might be a little short on me, but they're plenty roomy. You know what I mean? Like they're, oh, they're so soft. Her stuff is so durable. It wears so well, but is it expensive? Here are the Eileen Fisher pants. So cozy, so comfy, so expensive. Oh, these are some page jeans. Are those women's jeans? Size 28, 199 bucks, 28. Women's or men's? These look like something I might be able to wear. Let's try them on. Look who's got a new pair of jeans. These are pretty nice. I like them. More page jeans that someone did something in. Size 34. Okay. Nothing a little detergent won't fix. Whoa. <gasps> Another formal dress in a size 14, and this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, can't wait to try this one on. Now it doesn't fit quite right with the whole zipper issue in the back, but fix the zipper with a little tailor action, and it's, it's a pretty nice shape. I love the length. I love the Gatsby vibes it's giving me. I like it. This has no tags. This has no label on the inside. I think someone just returned something that was in their closet. Another formal dress. Oh, this one is in bad shape. These beads are missing off of this one. I don't know that this one can be salvaged. Okay. We are officially through whatever box this was. Aside from being disappointed because it wasn't the box that I ordered, I don't know what this normally retails for on the website, but I don't know that it would be, would be worth the one to two pieces that you would end up keeping if you were buying this for yourself personally. And even if you were buying it to resell it as a business. Now I did email Quick Lots about the mix up with the boxes about two days ago, cause I wanted to see if they would email me back. I really just wanted the jewelry box. I even send them all this stuff back. I haven't heard back from them at all. So I'm going to assume that this is a final sale sort of situation. In the end, I technically got more than I bargained for and just have more to donate or fix up. But if you like this video, go check out this one over here. I bet you'll like it if you give it a watch or this one. This one's good too. Bye.